I now give the floor to the representative of Women's Human Rights International Association. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. I would like to thank you, Mrs. Special Rapporteur, for your report, particularly on issues related to women and the problems they face in Iran. I would like to draw your attention and the Council's attention to a topic that should be dealt with separately in the report. As indicated in paragraph 32 and 58 of your report, this subject is a major concern for the Iranian society and remains on the agenda. Last summer, a audio file dated July 1988 was made public on the internet by the son of Ayatollah Montazeri. In this tape, Ayatollah Montazeri, then Khomeini's successor, was heard condemning the executions of thousands of political prisoners who had been sentenced to prison terms across Iran. He then described this killing as a massacre and a letter of protest. These prisoners were sentenced to death, to death based on a religious decree and after a trial of two minutes. Sentences were sometimes implemented just a few hours later. Thousands of Iranian families were never able to recover the bodies of their loved ones and never informed of the place where they had been buried. Only their belongings were returned to the families who were ordered and threatened to remain silent. They didn't even have the right to organize a funeral ceremony. T testimonies show that those executed were buried in mass graves and authorities in Iran have tried to erase all traces of these mass graves. What happened in the prison in Iran in 1988 remains a deep wound in the body and heart of the Iranian people. The only way to close this wound is a thorough investigation to identify those who have misused their power to execute thousands of their ideological opponents. Madam Special Rapporteur, you are in charge of an essential UN mechanism and the Iranian people are counting on you and your mandate. Your endeavors will be a balm on the suffering hearts of these families. Thank you. Thank you.